Okay, Steve back again, and we have WinGPOS running here, um, and we're going to uh, derotate our images with it. Um, this is probably the software that I am, well, it's probably the most uh, difficult to use. Not that it's difficult once you know how, but uh, it takes some uh, research to uh, and some helpful tutorials out there to uh, to figure out how to, to do what you want to do with it. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to make some Im image measurements on our uh, three TIFF files. And I will go ahead and load the correct image file that I saved off just a few minutes ago. And it comes up and I'm going to go ahead and uh, skew this alignment outline here a little bit just to uh, give a better example. Um, so a couple things here. Um, the software that I use to capture my videos is called Fire Capture um, and it has the ability to as part of the file name of the, the video, it, it timestamps it in a format that WinGPOS can extract right out of the uh, file name, which is pretty handy. Um, so when I load this image, it automatically fills the date and the time of the capture. Um, this is the beginning time of the capture, which I typically use um, except when if there's a shadow transit going on or if there's a planet uh, visible in this image or I'm sorry not a planet but a, a moon um, you would want to use the midpoint of the capture which with fire capture I can pull that right out of a log file that gets created each time I make a capture so it's pretty handy I mean if you don't have that ability you can still uh, figure it out manually You've got a timestamp on your on your video for sure, and you can calculate where that midpoint was if you had to. So um, after we get that set, we're going to go over here to this adjustment screen, and I typically am able to just go and say automatically detect, and you can see that it aligned that frame uh, pretty well. The the equator um, lines up pretty well here, right in the uh, uh, center of Jupiter. Um, it puts the North Pole in the proper place. Sometimes that doesn't work um, and you would have to, uh, there's some adjustment keys that you can use. You can adjust the size of the outline frame. Um, I'll just go ahead and show, see I can make it bigger or smaller and I can rotate it. Um, but fortunately this works well for me most of the time. And Once you do that, you just come over here and save the measurement just like that.